everyone, it's Saturday. I'm on my way to the barn and it's just before eight in the morning. Um, I have the morning feed together with Molla's owner, uh, but she's not coming until half past eight. So I want to get as much as possible done before that because I think it's too late to put the horses out at half past eight. I think they should be all by out by now, but uh, sadly the buses um, from me to the barn do not go or correspond at all until this hour. So, yeah, so I'm gonna try and vlog. Not sure how much uh, footage I will get, but if I don't get any footage, then you won't see this, so... You can see the sunrise over there. First guy is going out. And I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> but, um, yeah. They are birds are eating there. Morning feed, this one poor guy doesn't get any hard feed in the morning and they have hay outside so What? There is no ghost there I swear Come Pickies She's like The food in the bag is better than the other food Give me more Do I show you this She's just had her soup breakfast I just hang your hay net, you can eat there have you ever seen a more innocent looking horse? He's like, I never do anything wrong. No, I don't, I swear. Welcome to this voiceover from my schooling session with Mola. As you can see, we're in an arena. It's a tiny arena with plastic walls, which is a bit spooky. So we just started trotting him with a rising trot and... Um, doing some transitions. He was not as forward as he usually is today. A um, bit slow, a bit, little bit like not as responsive to my leg aid, how to work a bit hard. Um, then we started to do the sitting trot and when a horse is not responding the way I want to my leg aids, uh, what I usually do is tempo changes and transitions. That is what helps. And doing tempo changes on him, it wasn't possible to say. I just didn't have enough strength. Um, so I did transitions. I'm pretty happy with my position in the beginning of this ride. And you'll see it gets gradually worse and worse. <laughs> Because as I get tired, uh, my hands start flapping and my knee crunches up and yeah. So what I would like you to pay attention to is the like tempo. So here he, ex like the tempo of the walk went up before he went into trot. And he's not supposed to do that. He's just supposed to go in the same tempo and walk and then just go into trot when I gave him the aid, which he didn't. Uh, and the same way here when I go into walk again, um, if that ever happens. Um, yeah, you're supposed to see the tempo be the exact same from trot into walk. Uh, here I did like some, I just bent him a little bit to the outside, did some other stuff. But you're supposed to see the tempo in trot and then the tempo in walk. You're not supposed to see like a breaking in tempo if I can explain this properly because um, then it means he's not thinking forwards into the transitions so like uh, here um, no <laughs> sorry I haven't I've watched through it but like so there he was better going in from walk into trot at least and um, I was um, working on some 
shoulder in and some bum in as well. Yeah, here I did it into halt, of course. I cut out a lot here because it was like, I don't know, eight minutes of just trotting around. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with like the way he went from trot to halt, but getting him from halt to to um, trot was a bit difficult. Like I said, he wasn't as responsive that day, but like this wasn't as good. But um, because he took a couple of walk strides, but I mean, you do your best. <laughs> So here I'm starting to work on bum in and he spooks. Uh, he was a bit spooky at that place, um, but generally he was doing a lot better than he has because he's been in the blind panic in this uh, tiny arena before. Uh, so now I just did the more bum in and then I straightened him out here and then I do a transition into halt at the scary place. Not square, of course, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. Uh, same place, just the other on the other hand, and the square halt. So, yay! Um, but yeah, it was all about like giving him a good experience in here because I managed to keep him calm. So we are cantering and as you can see, my position is now shit. Um, he was very, very difficult to keep in the canter and on left hand. The circle we're going on is, or riding around is 15 meters in diameter. So it's small to canter. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm so exhausted. He's so like hard to get to go forwards that day and I'm sorry I expressed myself really poorly there but it's really difficult to express stuff in English sometimes so here he spooked again <laughs> he was like oh my god and then he was like oh my god and I was like shut up calm the fuck down sorry shouldn't swear but I do that because in Norway we don't care about swearing uh, but here he, we got the right canter, a little bit of a spook, much better canter, much easier to sit, much easier to ride him forwards, thank god. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, a little bit of a spook again, the same place every time. And then he broke the canter in trot, which he wasn't supposed to do. I tip forward, which is now late to say, but like still, I keep tipping forwards and... Uh, yeah, my hands are very low, so it's very bad. So I am going to muck out. I fixed this water because that's not really exciting to watch. And I definitely need to sweep all of Muller's mess. But it's 11 o'clock now and I haven't eaten anything today. So the first thing I'm going to do is eat my breakfast. <laughs> which I packed with me, and uh, then I'm gonna do this. There's still more. Why is it that you can never get the bottom stuff in these drink cartons. It's annoying. Hello! You're such a cutie! Huh. He's like, I'm happy as long as I get food. Yes. <laughs> I do have another one, but I was thinking maybe Brickin could get that one. <laughs> So I'm done at the barn. I'm just gonna go see bye to uh, Muller. Uh, didn't film as much today. Uh, 
I mean, how interesting is it even to watch me muck out? <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna see if this can be a vlog or what I do about it. So, if you like this video, please leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, a like, or, and please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!